Hi, Mark Benito from WP Academy. Uh, in this tutorial video, we're going to show you how to create a private members only forum by integrating Simple Forum, which is a, a very a powerful free forum plugin for WordPress, and Wishlist Member, which is, of course, the most popular membership plugin for WordPress. Enjoy. With me on the call, Stacy, and you know, hi, Stacy. People can't hear people can't hear you, but but I can hear you, so so we can. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Um, first of all, um, we need to install a plugin called Role Manager, uh, which is not in the um, WordPress plugin directory, but it's right here. So this is Google Role Manager. I think he's put it into. Um, um, Source Forge, which is sort of an interesting strategy. Um, that's not the place. Is this the one? Okay, it says under Source Forge. So let's download this. Oops, no, it doesn't work. Let's try again. Okay, so we're downloading the plugin zip file. It's done. Uh, we're going to um, uh, install the plugin from the zip file. Click um, plugins add new and um, activate the upload tab, of course. I oh, know, excuse me. The upload tab. You gotta wait for the site to refresh. Okay. What do you call it? Role manager, that's the one. So, you know, very briefly, um, we're gonna we're gonna need to create a WordPress role for this class of members which is just going to be a copy of the subscriber role in terms of his WordPress permissions. And then what we're going to do is we're going to assign this role to new um, wishlist member registrations. So what would that be under users? There we go, role capability management here. Okay. Oh no, sorry, roles, excuse me. Okay, so basically you're going to copy the subscriber level. You, you notice it doesn't have a lot of admin permissions. It just can read and read and post. Um, actually, no, it can't post. It can only read uh, and, and comment. So basically we're going to copy the subscriber level. And what, what are we going to call this um, role, Stacy? Eating, Eating together is fine. Um, so let's rename this. All right, I'm going to do it without embedded spaces, just in play, just in case. Um, I don't know that it makes a difference, but always better to be on the safe side. Okay, so now we have a new role, WordPress role called uh, Eating Together, which you can see down here. It has. Um, it has uh, permission to read, which is not really all that's required from a WordPress <coughs> role point of view. Now let's go into wish list, and here's what you do. You go into your uh, membership levels, and you can assign um, a new member at that membership level to this WordPress role. Um, as follows, membership levels. Okay, so there's only, it's right here. So let's, um, why can't I expand, okay, eating together. Basically, uh, it's down here. You see this role? Um, we're gonna assign the WordPress role. Now, so that's going to assign to that WordPress role after registration. If you have any already registered, um, you're actually gonna have to um, update them manually. 
and you can do that, you're going to have to actually grant them permission to the simple form role because it's not retroactive. Okay, so that what we've done now is all new registrations in that membership level are going to get assigned to that WordPress role. Okay, so now we're ready to move on to simple form here. Uh, right here. And you're going to go under options. Actually, you know, before we do that, um, we're going to create a simple form user group. Uh, where are we here? Tadam, 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 tadam. User groups. Manage user groups. Okay, so just very briefly, um, you know, Simple Form is a very uh, rich um, and sophisticated uh, membership um, per and permission management system. It's a two-level system. There's um, th there's user groups and there's permission sets. Um, so rather than actually trying to explain to you, let me just demonstrate it. So the guest is people who aren't logged in. Um, members is people who are logged in, um, you know, typically under subscriber, WordPress role, and moderators and moderators. So what we need to do is we need to add a new user group called Eating Together. Okay. So um, when someone enters the forum, the software is going to um, it, it, this software can assign a, a simple form user group based on a WordPress role. So, and this is done from options, member settings. Um, down here, default user group for eating together, eating together being the WordPress role, is going to be eating together. Okay, simple enough. And I think also I'm going to um, assign the default user group for administrator at, to, to be moderator, although that may or may not apply. Uh, okay, all right. So here, okay. So here we're, we're basically we're done the user group configuration. Now we have to add the permission set to the to the forms. So go under forms, manage groups and forms. Okay, so I have a, a, a form group called Eating Together, and I have a single forum under Eating Together called Week 1 Discussions. Obviously, there's going to be more. I have, um, um, let me edit the group permission, but be aware that the group permission will only apply to uh, new uh, forms. In other words, a new form will inherit the group permission. However, existing forms will not. You'll have to change them manually. So just for future, let's... Um, uh, oops, my screen is too small to be able to do this. But basically, under Eating Together uh, User Group, we're going to select Permission Set um, Standard Access. And uh, we're not going to give access to anyone else, guests, members, except for moderators, of course. Okay, we're going to do the same thing for the, um, at the, at the form level, okay. Remember, we were just modifying the group now, which will not change permissions on existing forms. So, guests no access. I like that. Mod members no access. Moderators no access. But I want to do want to add a permission for the eating together group. in which we're going to give them standard access. Okay, And just very briefly in terms of um, how the permission sets work. No access, we'd only access limited access, etc. There are permission sets. Um, and let me show you what that looks like after we've done this. But um, this really gives you very, very fine-grained control. Uh-oh. WordPress database error. This is not good. Let's try that again. Okay, anyway.
anyway, it seemed to work, so I'm not quite sure what's going on there. But um, the the permission set works in conjunction with the user group to give you very very fine grained control over what permissions your users. And this is managed from permissions under manage permissions. So if we want to look under standard access, which is the permission set that we've assigned uh, to this um, user group. You know, you can check or uncheck all of these all of these permissions, you know, can edit posts, can delete posts, can delete posts, etc. etc. Okay. Can use signatures, uh, you know, if you wanted to disable signatures at the forum level, you could do this just by updating that permission, okay? And that would apply to all users, um, you know, new and past. Okay. Um, that's it guys. Good luck.